After 100 years, the moment is here. And a silence, a reverence engulfs the crowd while celebrating the totem pole's return, a respect for the suffering of their ancestors. I felt calm and seeing it's possible what we could do today. The New Hulk were forced to flee their traditional village after smallpox decimated it, and the pole was taken to Bella Coola. In 1913, it ended up in the Royal BC Museum. It also tells us who we are and where we come from. It celebrated homecoming, the passion of the carver's great-great-grandson, happy to see it spend the next year at the school. This is the prime place that they will be able to see it and history can be carried on for tomorrow. This one here is the Golden Eagle. That's but for the New Hulk, it's not just about learning of their history, it's reclaiming their identity. It was almost gone. Carving was pretty well gone too, so... But. James Mack's father was one of only a handful of carvers when he grew up. It wasn't until he was in his 40s that Mack appreciated his father's skill. He then studied it, taught it, and is seeing its resurgence. The young children will, will see it, you know, and understand what it's all about. And his current project, he hopes, will help reclaim their territory. Several new totems will be placed throughout Bella Coola as a message against new resource exploration. It's a reminder to, to the industries and uh, to the government that uh, we never uh, ceded this land. So as new totem poles go out, this one returns, inspiring the young people here to see it. We're still here, that we're not going to stop until we get it back. An old totem pole seeing new life, inspiring this First Nation again. Susanna De Silva, CBC News, Bella Coola, BC.